Yeah. When we did the exhibition, he took a week and went to visit his grandmother. I was trying to tell him to go do a vacation. He wouldn't do it. So he went to visit his grandmother. Then he came back, and I, it only takes a boxer one week to get out of shape. People don't know that. I know that by experience of myself. So he came back the next week, and we went right back to work. So he wouldn't get out of shape. Then after that week of hard work, he went to Hawaii for a week. He came back, and we've been back working since then for about a month. So this is ongoing. This is, right, right, guys. Yeah. This is what you do. It's life. It's just this extended period of his everything he does. You know what I mean? And 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 most of them don't take it. You know, they don't take it. Like that. They don't have that information or that education. They don't have somebody behind them giving that to them. You know what I'm saying? But in reality, in a situation like you're in right now, with your son coming up, you get to see the benefits of all of these different things and also what not to do yeah, yeah. as you as you training your son. Uh -huh. You get to see all of that. I saw the documentary on the Junior Olympic Silver Gloves. Yeah, I saw see it. Oh. You know, you remember we was over here for, for a little, you know, documentary we did on you yeah. guys where you were showing how the hyper performance um, gym is going to look. Right. And here it is. And here it is. Yeah. So I, I got to put those clips together so yeah. people can see the content. Oh, you know what? You'll be the first one because we don't have anything. Because uh, yeah. the, all the content I've saved got lost in the phone that got stolen. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah I'm going to put that together and send it to you. So you'll be the first one to show what it was and how we broke it down. And, uh, so Sean's training, it's not just for the PPC cameras. This is just for the PPC no, this is him. Dante knows this. Oh, yeah. It's oh, yeah. This is 24-7. I heard me. And he gets himself in such a high level of condition. We only have to work four days a week. So he gets Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. He usually like does yoga. And then he might ride a bike or something like that. But that's it. I mean, in theory, if you get Thurman to the sixth, seventh round, you got a distinct advantage. If he, if, he, if, he, if, he took, if he took a picture last week on the beach, if you get Keith Thurman to the sixth round, you had a complete advantage. Uh, he was at the beach? So we so we take him past the sixth or seven, we get to drown him. <laughs> we get to drown him, that's what we gonna do. We're drowning him, Sean. We're drowning him. Take him to the deep water and drown him. Hey, can you think that's an advantage that, that, that people over kind of kind of overlook, Sean? Thinking that he doesn't have the boxing intangibles, you know, intelligence and everything. And I preach it all the time, but they don't get to see that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, and I like that. But you then know? again, I guess uh, Keith, he already know though. Regardless yeah, I saw his little write-up on us. I'm like, wait a minute, this dude know a whole lot of stuff right here. But that works both ways. I know things too, and Sean does too. That's another part of the reason why. It makes Come on, it dig, Sean, fun. dig, Sean. Making such a great fight. Uh -huh. The bell rang. He said the bell rang. He said the bell rang. Looking like Clever Lane. Yeah. How many is that? Would you say that? The bell rang. He said. He said the bell rang. Man, this thing is helpful. Don't misunderstand. This thing is helpful. You feel them punches, bro? If you got, if you got somebody really throwing them punches, like Sean throwing them with the weight. Feeling that. Your abs gotta be right. Every time. I do this all the time, and I can tell you this. I've been here now three years. I've been drinking this for three years. It's getting stronger. Every week. Every week. So you done took it to another level since the um, the Broner fight? I think, from, I think from an intellectual standpoint, we have. From a physical standpoint, we're timing it much better. We're waiting a long time for that Broner fight. We're waiting a long time for the Thurman fight. Where we at right now is we know where he is physically. Now it's a matter of pulling it all back together at the right time it's working. Every week he's getting better. Every week. So I'm excited about it. When Sean Porter walks in the ring as his trainer, what's his first round advantage on any opponent, not just Keith Thurman? Physically or mentally? You, you tell us. Physically, since you're his trainer, physical trainer. I think physically Sean has the tools to almost do anything he wants to do. He's fast, he's strong, he's explosive, he's conditioned. You know, so when you got an athlete to that level that can do the things at the level that Sean does, there's no limitation. It's just a matter of what the game plan is for that particular fight. So if there's an advantage, it's that physically and mentally he's been conditioned from day one of camp all the way until the fight is over. Because only when the fight's over does he get a break.
fans. What we gonna see, man? Oh, come on. All these fans. I've never, never let you down. I mean, you said you the camera in my face. You told me anything about what's going on. You know what it is with Jacob. You know what it is with Jacob. You know what it is Oh, I got it. 